It's so romantic, you yeah. know? I've never seen so many corgis in one place. Hello vlog! Hello! Today is a sunny day. It's also spring, which means flowers! Flower time. Flower time. We're gonna get some coffee and then we're gonna go check out this console gardens in La Canada because it's spring season and that's when flowers bloom. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can see some beautiful flowers here. So come along with us. We just arrived and we're heading into Descanso Garden. Yes. We're not getting it. I know. I'm just looking. Step into nature. This is the closest I've been in nature. Ever. Yeah. Descanso Gardens is a 150-acre botanical garden located in La Canada, Flintridge, California. It's a living museum and urban oasis just 20 minutes from downtown Los Angeles. Here are some of the reasons why I think people should visit it. Variety of gardens. Descanso Gardens features nine botanical collections. Here's the map of the Descanso Gardens. These include the Rose Garden, Japanese Garden, Oak Forest, Oak Woodland, Center Circle, Maple Forest, Nature's Table, and the California Garden. Are having a good time? Yeah. It's so romantic, you yeah. know? I was walking and thank goodness Stephen was like, watch out for that. Oh the garden boasts a redwood forest, streams, a lake, a bird sanctuary, and the largest camellia garden in the United States. It also has a rideable miniature railroad, natural beauty. The garden is nestled into a natural bow by surrounding mountains. The garden has a modern art gallery, cafe, and gift shop. It's a perfect place for quiet contemplation or conversation. You know what these are? What? They're uh, little holes for wasps and other bugs to make nests in. Remember in uh, Mexico when we saw the melipona bees? Well, these are like the local bees. They lay their eggs in there and then they're used to be beneficial for the plants. Descanso Gardens is open 364 days a year. They even offer free admission on the third Tuesday of every month. This is Hilltop Garden overlooking the gardens on the hill. Wow. You have a good time? Mm hmm. Mm. I like that it's not too hot. There's yeah. actually a lot of shade. Mm -hmm. When we went two years ago, I think we went during the summer and I just remember it was so hot. It was so hot, hot yeah. Mm -hmm. It was exhausting just walking around. But uh, yeah, it's been pretty nice today. I mean, we came early too. Visiting Descanso Gardens provides an opportunity to escape the urban buzz and immerse oneself in nature's beauty. It's a great place for relaxation, exploration, and learning about various plant species. Hi, squirrel. Hey, squirrel. Are you here for my corn? <laughs> we need more colorful flowers like this in our backyard. Yeah, we have purple and white flowers right now. Oh, wow. So this is the rose garden we're currently in. And my favorite flowers are roses. And you know that, right, Stephen? Huh? A lot of these flowers are already super blue. Mm -hmm. It's already summer here in April. I'm trying to see what color roses I like the best. So you like uh, pink and white? There's a certain type of pink that I like. I don't like the super dark pink. I like the baby pink, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, 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 I like that. See oh, the difference? Oh yeah, this is really pretty. This one, oh my gosh, so cute. Love. 
So whether you're a nature enthusiast, a bird watcher, or just someone looking for a peaceful retreat, the Sconso Gardens has something to offer you. So many bees, but that's a sign that it's spring. We finished walking around the whole perimeter. Mm -hmm. My favorite part. Yes. What was it? Rose Garden? Probably. Okay, yeah. Rose are the Japanese garden. Oh, Those Japanese are both enough. really nice. Yeah. Oh, we walked past the lake. Mm -hmm. We didn't get any shots. Yeah, I, it was covered in like leaves and pollen and stuff, so it wasn't very pretty. I'm really glad we went today. It was the perfect temperature. Mm -hmm. Not too hot, not too cold. There's a lot of shade in the walking path. What day is it today? April 28th? 28th. 28th, yeah. yeah. So, all right, yeah. it's time to go home. Go home. I like big butts and they don't lie. And as you can tell, I am obsessed with corgis. They are literally the most adorable and cute, fluffy animals because their butts, ugh, they are to die for. Basically my whole life I've always wanted a baby corgi, but I'm currently in the process of thinking about whether or not I can handle the responsibilities of one. So in the meantime, I'm just going to pet and enjoy cute corgis at the Huntington Beach Corgi event today. We're actually having my mom come with us today and I'm really excited to spend the day with her looking at cute corgi butts. Hello. Hi. Hello. Mama Wong. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that we can spend time together because you know, lots of mom and daughter bonding. Anyways, we're gonna grab lunch lunch real quick and then head out. So we found parking in the residential neighborhood in Huntington Beach, but there were a lot, a lot of cars, but I have an aunt who owns a beach house here. So we were able to kind of park near her place. I'm in my aunt's house right now, but we're gonna go with her. That's my aunt. Oh my God, do you see the little butthole over there? The butt's so cute. <laughs> Oh my god, I am geeking out now. They're so adorable. Weather is so nice today. Such a beautiful day at the beach. So yeah, that's where the dog beach is. These are all the booth and vendors here today. Ever since I can remember, I've always dreamt of having a corgi. Their short legs, fluffy tails, and playful nature have always brought a smile to my face. I've imagined countless times what it would be like to have a corgi of my own, to experience their boundless energy and an unconditional love. So when I stepped onto the sands of Huntington Beach during the SoCal Corgi Beach Day, it was like stepping Stepping into a dream. Everywhere I looked, there were corgis, corgis playing fetch, corgis frolicking in the water, corgis dressed in the most adorable costumes for the contest. It was a sea of wagging tails and happy barks. <laughs> My favorite color corgis are the tan ones. I really love the tan ones. Mommy, what do you think? And what do you like the corgi? Yeah, they are so cute. So cute. <laughs> There's like a little water pond where they can play with the water. Oh my god. I've never seen so many corgis in one place in my whole entire life. Like, wow. One of the highlights of the day is the corgi costume contest. Owners have dressed up their pets in the most creative outfits. The sight of these little dogs parading around in their costumes brings laughter and cheers from the crowd. My favorite part of the event is just seeing all the corgis dressed up in these creative and adorable outfits. Just came back to the car from SoCal's Corgi Beach Day. There were a lot, a lot of people. It was very crowded, like in between the tents. It was hard to walk because people were everywhere. It was so squishy that I only walked maybe one or two rolls and then we were like, ah, too many people. So we kind of went out. Even when there was, I think like a Corgi game show or a race, I wanted to go up closer to look, but uh, it was too many people. People. It's a fun day today with my daughter. So I asked my aunt, how is it like living near the beach? 
she said the weather is really nice and every day she likes to go out and walk to the beach and I asked her are there a lot of homeless people in Huntington Beach she said towards the pier yes but on this part of the beach there aren't a lot of homeless people so that's good to hear the corgi beach day we went towards the end a lot of the events and the corgis have already left and whatnot so yeah the starting time was at 10 and it ends at 3 so we went towards the end i wonder if that's why there weren't that many things kind of going on but nonetheless it was so cute touching little fat furry butts and the, just the way that they waddle <laughs> i just can't get enough of it you know like uh i can't okay that's it for this vlog